So I'd only been independent for three weeks at the most. One of my probably very first shifts on my own uh, and we, had, we received this call. So it, it came in originally as an assault job and when we arrived here we realised that it was a bit more than just an assault. So there was a lady um, stood outside on her mobile phone. Um, there was a lot of blood on her and on the outside of the address, handprints up the door, etc. Um, and she was really quite hysterical. Um, she was screaming, um, he's, he's dying, get in there, he's, uh, he's been stabbed. We asked, was the offender still in the property? And she said no. She didn't know who'd, who'd uh, committed the offence and that they'd gone. So I went in and there was lots of blood through the address. Um, I turned right into the living room and saw the two males. Um, one male appeared to be holding a blanket or something up to the first male's uh, neck. Um, so I asked them, was there anybody else in the address and walked, they, they replied no, and I walked straight through into the kitchen. There was a big pool of blood on the floor and amongst that was um, what I could only describe as a, a herb cutter. The, the male that was uh, helping kept saying things like, I, I'm his friend, I'm trying to save his life, um, I'm not stopping and thing, things like that. Um, and it, it just seemed odd, the, the, the blood that was, or the amount of blood that was on him. Um, and the fact that they, they'd both been in the address and both appeared to be quite intoxicated, um, that one of them didn't know who had committed the offence. Um, so I got an inkling quite soon on that the male that was helping was actually the offender. I didn't want to let on that I thought it was um, him, to be honest. I, I didn't want to put myself in that situation where I, he knew. I wanted to keep his hands where I could see them, which is why I allowed him to, to carry on helping with um, first aid on the mail. Um, I, I didn't want to lose sight of him, so him moving away from the situation wasn't an option really. I, I wanted to keep him there where I, could, where I could see him, so talking to him and engaging with him, asking him what had happened, was my way of making sure that he did that. When other crews arrived, um, the, the, the male that was helping was taken away from um, the scene and the victim uh, stated that it, it was him who'd committed the offence. The mother who was outside the address when we arrived um, knew that her son had committed this offence um, but obviously parental instinct had kicked in by the time we got there and, and she didn't want us to know it was him. I think that this sort of thing is potentially a once in a career um, job to, to come to something like that when it had just been reported as a you know an everyday possible assault to turn up and find the scene that we found um, yeah I, I don't think or I'd hope that that wouldn't happen every day